Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to interface a display camera module with Raspberry Pi and run a facial recognition on it. To get started you would need a display, here are after for a 3.5 inch display powered by a two XPD2046 touch driver but you can go with 5 or even 7 inch display for Raspberry Pi, a camera module powered by an Omnivision 5647 5 megapixel camera and then you would need the prerequisites like an SD card to, to load the operating system and then the power modules to power the Raspberry Pi. So let's get started. Can you hear, can you hear, can you hear my voice? After you're done configuring Raspberry Pi, open the terminal window or the terminal app and type in sudo raspi config so this should open the configuration and this you should go to the interface option camera and select yes once you're done with that you can go ahead and finish and this should initiate a reboot I'll resume once the reboot is completed after you have enabled the camera in the Raspberry Pi config, next step would be to power off the Raspberry Pi and insert the camera module. The CSI interface would be located here. Go ahead and insert the flux cable in this manner and ensure that it's properly positioned and then you can go ahead and lock, lock it. Once you're logged in, you can go ahead and power on the Raspberry Pi. The LED might blink for a moment and might not be a continuous on. What you can do is that once the operating system boots up, you can execute the command called raspi wid and this would record a small 5 second video and if the camera is configured properly, you should see the video on this display. We'll wait for the Raspberry Pi to fully boot up and then we're going to execute the raspi wid con uh, command and that should clear out if the camera is configured or not. I'm going to go ahead and execute the command raspid and this should activate the camera as you can see it. The, the next step would be to install the LCD library. If you have already installed the LCD show library, uh, you need to first remove that. So just for demonstration, I have already cloned, so I'm going to go ahead and remove it. Uh, next step would be to clone it. I'm going to clone it and once it's done, I'm going to change the access parameter for the folder and then initiate the driver specific for my LCD. I'm having a 3.5 inch LCD, so I'm going to call the respective application. So first I'm going to change the access parameter for that folder. And since I'm using a three point I'm using a three point five inch so I'm gonna use thirty five. This should install an assistive library and activate the GPIO specifically needed for that L C D and after the installation it is going to reboot the Raspberry Pi. I'm gonna resume once the reboot is completed. I'm also going to show like the camera being activated during the boot up with an LED and same with the LCD. And this is the final step where we are going to take the LCD and connect it to the Raspberry Pi. So this is where the LCD should be mounted. Once you're done with it, I'm going to just zoom out a little bit. I'm going to boot, it, boot up the Raspberry Pi and this time there won't be any display coming out of the HDMI but it will be on the LCD. You'd initially get the rainbow color on the HDMI but that's pretty much it. You won't get the actual desktop on the HDMI. It will be shown on the display. I'll resume once the desktop is fully loaded. Now that the OS is fully booted up, I'm going to open up the terminal and 
run the final facial detection app. It's turning the power on for the camera. Yes, there you go. The camera is powered on. I'm going to point at some stock images on the desktop. And as you can see, it's already recognizing the faces. It's identifying the faces. It's pretty slow because this is a Raspberry Pi 2, but you can run this on Raspberry Pi 3 and higher and get a better frame rate. So that's all I had from this video. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you.